Jason Martel and Giorgio Sukolos demonstrate just how the Baghdad battery could generate electricity using a modern mock-up of the device. Well, basically this is a, made out of a clay pot. Clay just found naturally in that region in southern Iraq. And then they would use a small copper lining and something that, uh, along the lines of an asphalt stopper wrapped around an iron rod. And these all applied together and the combination of some weak acidic acid, vinegar, grape juice, orange juice in this case, wine, would be able to generate a charge by combining these elements with the, rod, the iron rod and the copper, and the combination of that creates an abundance of uh, electricity. So what we're gonna do is uh, basically just fill the clay pot with some orange juice here. I'll try not to spill it too much. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and put the copper rod back in there, copper and iron rod. We'll give it a moment to kind of fill that copper area there. And then by turning on the voltmeter and applying this to each side, we should be able to generate a charge. And there it goes, into the positive. Mm -hmm. And if we give it some time to get the electrolytes really buzzing in there, you'll see that this volt will actually continue to rise. But while some see the Baghdad battery as evidence that man was sparked on by extraterrestrial wisdom, Others look at it and simply say, so what?